What I'm trying to understand from you is how did the drug improve? If I were to look at a pill and analyze it from 2005, when it cost 215, and I was looked today at, at when it cost 763, would that pill be the same? I understand your question about the pill. The pill, the manufacturing for it, would be the same. Great, thank you. So to put that in perspective, you hiked the price by $500 when the average Orange County senior only has $528 left in their bank account after they've paid their basic monthly expenses. The average Orange County senior can't even afford one pill. And you said recently that nobody pays the list price, but that is not correct. Do uninsured patients sometimes pay the list price? I can imagine there are circumstances where underinsured or uninsured patients would be paying close to or at the list price. I, I don't know of any specific circumstances, but I would be my time, Mr. Doing Ellis, I, I want to turn to one other number if you would, you would help me. Um, do you know what this number is? I Does it ring I any bells? I, I think you're referring to my compensation in some way. Yo, in some way. This was your compensation in 2017 for being CEO of Celgene. And that's a lot of money. It's 200 times the average American's income and 360 times what the average senior gets on Social Security. Now, of that 13 million, about 2.1 million came from your company hitting yearly earning targets. Um, and more than half of the bonus formula was based on those targets. Any increase in the price of Revlimid would also increase your bonus by increasing earnings. Isn't that right, Mr. Ellis? If revenues increased and expenses did not, then earnings would be enhanced. And Thank you. Mr. Ellis, in fact, the Oversight the Committee found that if you hadn't increased the price of Revlimid, you wouldn't have gotten your bonus. Mr. Ellis, do you know how much you personally received in bonuses over two years, the last two years, just because Celgene raised the price of this one drug, Revlimid? I receive very generous compensation, but I don't know the exact number that you're referring to. In fact, you personally received half of a, half a million dollars personally just by tripling the price of Revlimid. So to recap here, the drug didn't get any better, the cancer patients didn't get any better, you just got better at making money. You just refined your skills at price gouging. And to be clear, the taxpayers spent $3.3 billion on Revlimid. <laughs>